everybody thanks for tuning in for another video uh, in today's video i'll keep it as simple as possible and unedited as much as possible i'll be dealing with a small ceiling of this uh, uh thread three quarter inch thread in our uh diesel fuel tank uh for our heating system and i'll be inserting this uh a small fitting uh, to continue on our line with uh, the fuel and uh, as a first step I really like to uh, have clean uh, parts uh, and uh, I consider it uh, very important and uh, because of the fact that this uh, part was uh, in diesel uh, diesel was passing from this line for the past uh, 30 years I think uh, so I'm using this uh, carburetor cleaner spray to clean any grime that is left in the uh, thread and as we can see from the first spray uh, quite a big amount of uh, dirt has come off and uh, with uh, every other spray and with every other application of the carburetor cleaner uh, it, uh, it gets even cleaner and I really like that because uh, this is uh, diesel fuel that will pass from that uh, ceiling, uh, from that uh, thread. So I want it to be as clean as possible because uh, fuel, diesel fuel is not the same as water. And uh, the hemp fibers that I'm going to apply to it uh, will not behave the same as water. And I have to say this and I have to put it out there. Uh, that uh, hemp fibers don't uh, behave the same with diesel fuel uh, like they do with water. Uh, that's why I wanted to have uh, as clean a thread as possible. The uh, diesel fuel um, moists the hemp fibers and uh, it develops in quite a, uh, quite a small amount of time. It develops a leak which is not so visible but uh, we can see the result of the leak uh, and the it forms kind of um, kind of moisture a diesel moisture on the fitting and on the seal on the connection point and along with uh, the dust from the environment it forms a kind of mud and grime on top of the parts uh, which indicates a leak of fuel so that's what we want to avoid in this case and um, even more so because this uh, ceiling this application of the parts is made from an amateur and not from a professional so now we will see how an amateur is sealing a thread using hemp fiber and ptfe tape on top So the first part is done, the uh, uh, thread is clean and uh, the next part is the hemp fibers. Uh, we pick off a small amount of uh, hemp fibers uh, cautiously and carefully uh, so as not to make it a bunch. Uh, we keep everything tucked and very beautifully aligned. The hemp fibers need to be aligned and not made into a rope. That's uh, something to uh, we need to be take care of. Uh, we need to keep everything as lined up as possible. So we tuck it in and uh, we keep it as straight as possible. And uh, everything will be perfectly aligned. And uh, another indication that this is an amateur application of the hemp fiber is the fact that we apply it very slowly and very cautiously because we don't have much experience i don't have much experience okay i admit it i don't have much experience 
in applying hemp fiber in uh, sealing threads uh, especially bigger threads uh, like three quarters or uh, one inch threads one and a quarter inch these are the bigger threads uh, the half inch thread are the more common so I don't have much experience in applying hemp fibers in three quarter inch thread and uh, especially NPT threads like this one uh, so I'm applying it uh, slowly and cautiously uh, as you can see keeping the threads again and again uh, tucked in and uh, uh, in parallel with each other and tucking in the uh, hemp fiber as best as possible because the hemp fiber tends to form a rope on itself if you don't keep it level uh, if you don't keep it flat on the uh, on the thread so i'm keeping every application i'm keeping it with uh, my other hand uh, with my left hand and with my right hand i'm uh, applying uh, force on the thread and on the hemp fibers so that they fit inside the thread in the valleys of the thread as best as possible so that they will uh, in, they'll be inserted as much as possible in the thread and another point i need to uh, point out here uh, is the fact that the hemp fiber uh, dries out the hand that's why you see me using the uh, these nitrile gloves these nitrile gloves uh, because the hemp uh, fibers uh, tend to absorb moisture so they absorb the moisture from my own hand and they make my hand dry so since my hand it becomes dry then it uh, it dry it uh, it ruins the fibers my own hand ruins the fibers and uh, the fiber the whole application of the hemp isn't uh, doesn't come on, on uh, is not applied as best as I would like that's why you see me using uh, gloves that's why I recommend using gloves uh, which is not a bad practice it's always good to have uh, gloves nitrile or vinyl gloves uh, work good they have the glove has a very smooth surface and it doesn't ruin uh, the hemp fibers so we are taking care to apply the hemp fibers as best as possible any threads any uh, hair of the thread of the hemp fiber any hair of the hemp fiber uh, we need to be uh, to take care the, so that it doesn't fall in the uh, flow of the fluid so that all the hemp is nicely tucked around the thread a water does uh, help in uh, making everything uh, come together the hemp sticks together with uh, water or saliva yes of course and uh, you can see how good the hemp fibers are tucked in place and they formed a small hump in the position where we want uh, our ceiling to be of course the first few threads um, are left empty so that we'll have something to uh, catch uh, our part will have something to catch and the next part is applying the PTFE tape so the first parts the first few turns of the PTFE tape I like to make it a string a rope uh, and fit it in the first empty threads of the pipe uh, and insert them into the thread so that uh, the thread will have uh, uh, a kind of um, uh, soft a kind of soft material in the thread and that will be helpful uh, so that the uh, fitting will fit uh, in position easier it will slide in position it uh, helps so that uh, the fitting uh, is screwed in and uh, the tensioning and I will slowly work my way upwards as you can see having the uh, the PTFE tape uh, vertically and not parallel to the fitting and as you can see uh, the tension that I apply was too much and it cut off it cut the tape off but that's not a problem we can still continue from that point and continue up until the end and then slowly again work our way down to the front 
and uh, vertically as you can see I have the PTFE vertically and not parallel with the thread so that the as much as as much as possible of the PTFE tape comes on is applied on the uh, uh, on our part and of course again you can realize that this is a an amateur way of applying the PTFE tape uh, because I'm using as much as possible as much PTFE tape as possible because I want to make sure uh, especially in that point where we have diesel fuel uh, running through the pipe I wanted to make a hundred percent sure that it will be uh, totally uh, sealed because uh, I've noticed uh, from my little experience I've noticed that uh, uh, other sealings of uh, such positions in uh, other uh, diesel fuel tanks uh, that were uh, sealed only with hemp fibers uh, the hemp fiber doesn't work uh, the same as in water the diesel fuel penetrates the hemp fiber it moistens the hemp fiber and then the sealing point starts leaking that's why I'm using PTFE uh, tape on top of the hemp fiber uh, to make sure that uh, the diesel fuel will not leak PTFE tape over hemp fiber is a hundred percent sure uh, that will seal the diesel fuel line of course it will seal water too okay that's why I recommend it in water too but uh, in water you can still use uh, hemp fiber alone without PTFE, uh, without PTFE tape and it will still uh, seal however in diesel fuel you have to use uh, PTFE tape or else the sealing the connection point will start leaking after a uh, small amount of time uh, after a couple of months that's why I really recommend uh, having PTFE tape on top of the hemp fiber and uh, after uh, tightening the part uh, the tightening of the part is another issue the common practice uh, mentions that uh, we should tighten the part up to the point that we feel uh, the force becoming double um, from double compared to the force that we had up to that point but again that is the tightening of the parts is a matter of experience so I what I like to do is uh, yeah turn the part well, uh, up to the point that uh, it becomes quite hard to turn and up to that point uh, after that I like to turn it a little bit and uh, that's it as you can see I've tightened it slowly a little bit more and uh, that's it and now right here I am 100% sure that this connection will hold and it will not leak diesel fuel again the diesel fuel is uh, the important uh, part here is the key word here uh, if it was water uh, we would be fine but since it's diesel fuel we have to make it a hundred percent waterproof and of course if you know that in the future you won't be removing that brass part you can still use uh, liquid thread locking And I'm not sure how well a uh, thread sealing cord works on uh, diesel fuel. That's why I don't really recommend it. I didn't have any experience with thread sealing cord. That's why I don't recommend it. That's why I recommend uh, hemp fibers and PTFE tape. And uh, that's it for today. Quick and easy. Thanks for watching. You're awesome.